Anybody got any questions? I'm looking for something like this cost of state budget the Center. Well, that's what we've been, been looking at. Now, uh, the first part of it, for the basic and for the, uh, for the enhanced, not the uh, ones who turn 80, that's about $2.1 billion, okay? And remember, I don't know if you were here when I said the Comptroller has stated uh, that there are $13.5 billion that's been sent from the federal government strictly for homeowners, 13.5. We're working now on the senior because there's 650,000 who are in the enhanced program, but they're 65, 66, 67. We're trying to find out how many are 80 years of old or older. We haven't gotten that figure yet, but we're working on that. That would give us a complete estimate. But I know it's not going to reach $13.5 billion. So I think it's more in the realm of what we can afford. And if we're ever going to do this, because look, we're, as uh, some women lawyers said, we're spending like uh, drunk soldiers, and that's an embarrassment to drunken sh uh, sailors and soldiers right now. And we're, I'm afraid we're going to get right back into the situation we were before, where we're in a deficit situation. And we don't want to ask for another pandemic to have us bailed out by the federal government. The one good thing, it was a disaster. People lost their lives. We had a governor who had to leave the state. The only good thing is they realized we needed some revenue from the federal area. And they gave us, as I said, money from the federal government to take care of our deficit, to bring us through the shutdown of our economy, and to have billions of dollars in surplus. So now is the time to give back to those property owners who want to stay and live in their house. And I think this is across the board because it is egregious, it is discriminatory, and at some point I think we've got to find another outlet to get the revenue to support an important policy like our kids' education and the policy of providing services for local municipalities.